I'm Michael Thaddeus. I'm from Columbia University in New York. I'm American, but I've, I've had connections to British mathematics for many years because I was a doctoral student in, in Oxford. That was a long time ago. The subject that I worked on, at least initially, um, which was gauge theory and, and low-dimensional manifolds, that was one where there were lots of brilliant British mathematicians working in the, the end of the 20th century. There was a lot of activity at the Newton Institute around those topics in those old days of the 90s. Uh, that was the occasion of my first visit to the Institute. But I've kept up my contacts with those British mathematicians, at least to, to some degree, over the years. And the kind of topics we work on have evolved, but, but only gradually. I mean, that mathematics um, progresses, but it progresses uh, uh, slowly by accretion. And so the kind of topics that we're interested in in the current program tangibly related to the kinds of things we thought about in the 90s. The problems we um, worried about in the 90s have mostly been solved, actually. The solution of any problem always suggests new problems and new methods. So. I guess now we're here to work on those new problems. Part of my uh, goal is just to give a survey of what we're all doing at this program and have been doing for 30 years or more in a way that I hope would be accessible to a broad mathematical audience. Um, but I want to emphasize the connections between algebraic geometry and differential geometry. As mathematics gets more and more specialized, um, we learn more. <clears throat> there's more activity uh, on the frontiers, but there's some danger of forgetting the fundamental connections. Um, almost everyone at this uh, program is an algebraic geometer, um, but uh, there's a beautiful story in differential geometry as well that, that I, I want to emphasize the connections between the two. I want to emphasize also the relationship between quotients by abelian groups and non-abelian groups. Most of the time, the quotients that interest us in, in geometry, in algebraic geometry, are, are quotients by non-abelian groups. But um, there's a so-called abelianization procedure where we can turn that problem into a, a, uh, a, an equivalent problem involving an abelian group. So I want to talk about that. And of course, um, it's all intended as a lead-in to describe some of the research that I'm doing right now. But, um, but I want to try and put it in a broader context.